Welcome to the 2015 McDonald's All-American Boys Scrimmage from Chicago, Illinois. It'll be a nice snapshot as we get set for Wednesday night and the McDonald's All-American Games. We're talking with Jay Williams about the number one player in the country, Ben Simmons, who's on his way to LSU, is in this game. And Jay, you really think he can make an impact right off the top? I do, Adam. I actually think that Ben Simmons will be the most impactful player in this year's class on the collegiate level next year for LSU. He's Mr. Versatility. He does everything on the court at 6'9". He has ability to dribble, drive, and get into the lane. He's extremely athletic. You know, he talked about his driving ability, working on his ball handling. is very impressive. Defensively, he has quick hands. He can engage defensively, lock in. He has low post finishes, great footwork around the block, and also handling the ball and finishing in transition. There's no doubt about it. Ben Simmons is the real deal. The LSU Tigers get a phenomenal player. Part of a very good recruiting class that's in the top 10. So Ben Simmons, college ready as a freshman when he goes in to Baton Rouge next year. Let's go over to Quint Kesnick with the number one player in the country, Ben Simmons. Ben, what type of pressure goes along with being the top player in, in your class? Um, I think it's the only pressure if you're allowed to get to yourself. Um, I don't really allow pressure to get to me. Um, I'm just out here to have fun and play. You're going to be heading to LSU. You'll become the face of that program. Are you ready for the scrutiny that comes along with that responsibility? Definitely. I knew uh, picking a school like LSU that everyone, you know, would, there'll be a lot of media and attention, but uh, I'm fine with that. I'm ready to just play. Have fun today. Thank you. Adam. David Patrick, Ben Simmons' godfather and assistant for LSU. Big reason why he chose the Tigers. Breaks every four minutes. We'll take a break as well under the eight minute what would be the media timeout and each team has a timeout as well right away off the top there's the number one player in the country Ben Simmons Paul Biancardio director of national recruiting says positionless player that's what the NBA scouts love about him because he's got so much versatility I love that too the size the versatility the ability to put the basketball on the floor and not settle you saw that on the first play of the game Get yourself going so many times three on two two on one you flare out and you shoot the three and I know that's in vogue for today's game Mm. Take the layup, take the dunk, get yourself going. Hey, Simmons two things. Briscoe right there, Jay. I was going to say, guys, two things I'm seeing from the court side. First off, how about the vision of Ben Simmons on that fast break? Yeah. His ability to find people in transition. Ben Simmons right now, in theory, he's the second tallest player for his basketball team. Right. So on the next level, that means you're playing four, okay? And you're guarding a four. That's the adjustment. My best out here. How many schools remain on, on your list right now? Uh, still about four, you know, um, Indiana, Syracuse, Missouri, and Kentucky. Guys in Indiana selling you. Chase Jeter was lunging for it. Here comes Brown. There is Ben Simmons, always with the eyes up, looking for another assist, and he gets it. Three knocked down. This is the top ten in the 2015 class. It doesn't include Thon Maker, who... Uh, was able to change his class, was able to reestablish himself as a 2015 member, but this is the 2015 top 10. For Arizona, the number two recruiting class right now. Texas A&M with the number three recruiting yeah. class, and then Syracuse with the fourth recruiting class. There's Simmons on the push, part of the number six recruiting class of LSU. Just impatient by Brunson. <laughs> You're an honor roll student, Jalen. You got, other stuff, you got other stuff going on. It's Simmons, <laughs> number one player in the country, going to LSU, throws it down. Watching this just not as another game, but as a way to showcase how truly competitive they are and how they're going to make a difference next year. I wish they had thought about that. Wow, what a move. That was fast. Mm. That, that happened very, very quickly. Ben Simmons going from one end of the floor to the, the other. Dexterity, the versatility, finish over the top with the left. Fast. It felt like Simmons was at one end of the floor, and in a second later, he was at the other end. You nasty boy, you <laughs> nasty. You got to think about it. If you're Antonio Blakeney, and that's where you, there's really not a need when you see Ben Simmons to run yeah. back and get the ball. You can space out the floor. And as a guard who likes to shoot, trust me, I was one of them. Yes. You're going to find a lot of shots when you have a guy like Ben Simmons on your team. We just looked at Ben Simmons. He's with Quinn Kessner. Ben, on that last shift, you showcased uh, tremendous versatility, whether it was getting to the rack or, or a little two-man two game on the wing. When you value your strengths and weaknesses, what do you think's at the top and what do you think is kind of down below? Uh, just my versatility at the top, I think, uh, being 6'10", uh, be able to uh, take the ball up, guard uh, one through four, it's easier for me. But the weakness is probably my shot right now, but I think that's just confidence because I know I can shoot the ball. What do you enjoy doing the most? Uh, giving the ball, getting assists, definitely. We saw that vision early on in, in, in this scrimmage. What's it been like today to compete against these elite guys? It seems like it's a pretty intense scrimmage. It's great, you know, we're all getting better at the same time, having fun. Um, just going against the best guys, it really helps us. Adam? 